Hey Nate, how you doing? So uh, a little earlier, I uh, I was out for a drive. Uh, had a few errands to do when I did a live feed, and the uh, I got home to uh, just take a look at it and shit. And uh, the Facebook wouldn't post it because uh, some of the music I was playing copyright shit, you know, stuff like that, so, I felt it was, uh, important video to redo, so, uh, the question I posed, uh, on the video was, why did I fail? Um, you guys, uh, don't look at it as, a uh, as a failure, like, you know, say you started working out, you know, the new year, and you got three weeks in, or even following me, and you dropped off, you know, don't see it as a, as a failure, what you need to be doing is asking yourself why you started working out in the first place, that's what, uh, that's what you guys need to be doing, is asking yourselves, hey, Michelle, yeah, the live feed I did earlier, yeah, it didn't take the, uh, because of the music on there, the copyright thing didn't allow me to post it. So, the only people that got to see that video was, uh, you guys who were watching it live. So, I thought it was important to, uh, revisit that video, you know. Usually when I take a drive and I'm out fucking around and, you know, just talking nonsense or acting crazy or if I'm in mania or something like that, I won't bother redoing the video, but I think this was an important video to revisit. You know, why did I fail? So, uh, back to what I was saying. Um, you guys need to ask yourself, you know, why did you start working out in the first place? Why did you want to change your diet in the first place? And chances are the reason you failed is because you weren't honest with yourself about why you were working out in the first place. You know, so it's really important, you guys, to understand that. Because it's all fucking mental, you know, uh... Any uh, person on the, online, they'll talk about, uh, you know, uh, their opinion on diets and their opinions on uh, working out. Or you'll go to the store and the hottest new fucking video is out, DVD, uh, XP fucking whatever. <coughs> I think it's really important that they should start off. The first thing that comes on the screen after you put the DVD in is it should read, be sure you're mentally ready to start this, regardless if it's an addition to your life or it's a lifestyle change, you know, and uh, most people who just start to enrich their lives, you know, are more likely to succeed than those who are doing it for a lifestyle change, and there is a fucking massive difference between the two, you know, lifestyle change uh, is, is epic. You know, if you just want to work out and eat a little better, you know, just to enrich your lives is one thing. But if you're looking to change your lifestyle, you know, that's a whole other fucking ball game. You know, that's a massive undertaking. You know, like quitting smoking would be a lifestyle change. You know, being a drug addict and trying to get sober is a lifestyle lifestyle change. Uh, being an alcoholic and uh, trying to quit drinking is a lifestyle change. You guys need to understand or recognize the difference. And you guys got to take stock in that. Because I want you to su succeed and understand the difference between the two. It's extremely important. You know? Like for me to work out again, it's not a lifestyle change. Because I know what I can and can't do. I know why I'm doing it. I've been down this road before. So my chances of success are, are huge. You know? But, uh, but before I did working out again... Even though I had all this knowledge about working out and diet, you know, uh, this this time, of la uh, last year at this time, I wasn't mentally ready to handle, to do this. Not even fucking close. You know, I gotta take stock, and you gotta be honest with yourselves about, you know, what you're taking on. You know? So I thought that was important to say. See, I wasn't lying about not having any music in my in my house, just in my truck, you know. Otherwise, I'd have some music in the background playing, and then I could turn into DJ Scotty Crom on you guys. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, so uh, I'll be honest with you guys, I missed one workout yesterday. Yeah, I missed a workout, so I always uh, remember that video I did where, you know, I really toughed it through and I just, you know, I didn't sleep, I was up till four in the morning getting my workouts done, you know, I felt really good about that. Well, that took its toll, you know, I felt it yesterday, I really felt it yesterday, and you guys really got to be self-aware about listening to your body, you know, uh, that's going to help you succeed and not fail. You know, uh, it's being honest about what's happening to you. And that's what I had to do. So I haven't worked out yet today. And uh, I'll probably just do the workout I missed yesterday today. And that's it because I'm feeling, you know, I've been getting the meals in. But it's more than that. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm pushing pretty hard. So uh, I'm not going to get down about it. And neither should you because it's part of the learning process. You know, the important thing is not to let it get you down. Learn from it and keep moving forward. Because uh, even with my knowledge and that, I'm still going to make the mistakes. And you guys are going to see that in real time. And that's why guys want to tell you, I'm just like you. I'm going to misjudge my body to a certain degree. Especially during cold and flu season. You know, you're putting stress on your body through dieting, changes, uh, you know, uh, resistance through weight training. So your body is always fighting to recover, fighting to recover from that workout, right? Well, fuck, if your immune system's down, your body's trying to repair itself, you're more acceptable to get sick. So try and be really self-aware of that. It's okay to miss a workout, you know? It's okay, it's okay, it's just as long as you reassess, look at the best case scenario and move forward. Uh, I think that's all I pretty much said in the last video, wasn't it? Was it a little, did I miss anything, guys? Because I see a few people from here, Michelle... Stacy, hey Dylan, thanks for joining us. Did I miss anything from the last video? Because you guys were watching that. No? Yes? Um, mm. One thing I did mention too, uh, in that video I just remembered, was that uh, I'm getting pretty close to uh, getting to the point where I'm going to have to buy some dumbbells. And uh, probably the next two or three weeks, because uh, as far as initially why I started this, I've accomplished so gold. I increased my strength. I feel better. I'm stronger. My cardio is a lot better than it was. So I've already accomplished my goals from a fitness level. So now I have to reassess and figure out where I'm going to go from here. Do I, once I reach 10 sets, do I just maintain that? Or do I take it further? You know, but either way, I'm going to have to buy the dumbbells, even if I reach my goal of 10 sets. I have reached my goal body-wise, but I mean as far as how my, I want to work out for the rest of my life or then in the very near future, um, I'll have to buy dumbbells. And you guys have to reassess that as yourself as well. There's nothing wrong with staying at the same level and just maintaining that. But if you want to graduate to the next level, uh, you know, you have to be honest with yourself. Do I want to do that? And then make that proper commitment. And I'll ask, I'm going to have to ask myself that too. Well, I already have, but so I have to buy these dumbbells. And uh, I used to have a, a weight room in my house. You know, I had tons of equipment and fucking tons of shit back in the day. And I had these things called power blocks. You know, there's different versions of it. Um, but they're really fucking cool. Unfortunately, they're a little bit pricey. You know, uh, anywhere from seven to eight hundred, uh, seven to fifteen hundred bucks. But they're really. Uh, they're great because they take all these dumbbells and they put it into one compact little thing. And if you guys look online, you'll understand what I mean by it. And they're fucking great because you don't have dumbbells all over the fucking place. You're not stubbing your toes on these damn things. So they're really, really handy. They go from, uh, like from 5 to like maybe 60 or 70 pounds. And that will be more than enough, even for myself, to carry me through... Uh, to the next level, you know, probably, probably, I would think that would be good for me for like four months before I have to start increasing weight or, you know, even maintaining that level. If I decide to take it to another level after that, you know, then I'll, I'm going to change my routine. You know, I'll probably work one party part, one body part a day, but I'll be sure to post all that stuff for you guys. As I change, I will post everything. So, you know, you guys will uh, be uh, doubt free. So the people that are following me all along on this program, you know, uh, 
and ready to take it to the next level. That's coming up soon, guys. That's coming up real soon. You know, I got some, uh, as a lot of you know, that uh, I plan on moving out west in the near future, but some things have happened, so I'll probably be here for another month. So, uh, and if things work out the way I want, then I'll be going to school here in Ottawa, so I won't be leaving right away. That's slim, you know, but if it does, then I'll definitely be changing the way I work out because I won't be on the road and fucking all over the goddamn country, you know, trying to find where I'm going to settle. So, you know, uh, if I end up do staying in Ottawa, uh, it's going to be wild because I'll get right back into bodybuilding, I think, hardcore, and, and I'll see you, I'll show you guys how to build some serious fucking muscle. You know, uh, even for women too, like, don't be afraid, like, you know, when I say I'm building muscle and I put a post about talking about mass, uh, you know, don't let the word mass, uh, frighten you guys, you know, um, if I'm more, just training the way I do, you know, if I'm training heavy and that train guys heavy too, you know, you guys are going to put on muscle and mass, uh, differently than men. It's going to be a lot slower, you know? But the more muscle that you put on your body, the more fat you're going to burn automatically, you know? So it's, you know, don't be afraid of those heavy weights, ladies. Don't be afraid of it. Don't be afraid to train like a man. I, I don't even know how how that all even got started, you know? There, there, there's no difference between, you know, there's, you know, just, we all should train the same, you know? Like, for different levels of what goes what you want, but, you know, like, women, don't be afraid of those heavy weights. Not at all. So, I entertained the, reiterate what I said before about, you know, why'd you fail? You know, don't look at it negatively. Just take stock. Ask yourself again, why am I working out? Are you doing it for the right reasons? Is it attainable for me? There's nothing wrong with getting halfway through your program and realizing it's not what you want. It's not, you know, uh, there's nothing wrong with that. The Facebook page is going to be here indefinitely. You can revisit it another day. You know, we all have, you have to prioritize your life, you know. Make a lot of sense. I think that makes a hell of a lot of fucking sense. Because, you know, usually around, you know, probably the next couple of weeks ago, people are going to start dropping off, you know. They're going to start fucking laxing on their diet and not working out and not losing all the motivation they had to start with. You know, four, four or six weeks out of their program, you know. Personally, I think if you can get through that first fucking week, which is the worst, you know. But life life throws us curveballs and, you know, whatever. But that's why I want to kind of do this video about now is because people are going to start failing, and, and I don't want you guys to get down because of that. Don't. Look at it from a positive point of view. I wasn't ready, you know. Or this happened in my life, and I'm not going to be so hard on myself, you know. So I want you guys to know, even if you do fail, I want you guys to take something positive from that failure. And that's important, because I want you to come back here eventually someday, and uh, give it another shot. And hopefully when you give it the second turnaround or the third, you'll be successful because you'll be doing it for the right reasons. And you'll know why you're doing it. You know, and it won't be such an effort to train and an effort to diet. It'll be easy. It'll be easy peasy Japanesey. <clears throat> uh, some use... Uh, uh, watching these videos actually know me personally. <laughs> Those of you who don't, I got something funny to say. Um, I should save this for my YouTube channel, but fuck it, you know, I gotta make some of these videos a little bit entertaining, a little bit personal, so. So I got invited to, uh, <laughs> go watch the musical, uh, Mary Poppins, and I'm pretty excited about it. I don't know why, but... <laughs> And the people who know me personally, they're like, what? You're going to see Mary Poppins? You know, it's uh, definitely out of the norm for me, but I'm a different man than I was a year ago, for sure. So, you know, uh, it should be interesting. <laughs> yeah, it should be interesting. Uh, a friend of mine, she uh, invited me, and I said, fuck it, you know. Let's try it out, you know. 
be open to new things and, you know, who knows, maybe I'll leave there and I'll be fucking just, you know, surprised on, on how that musical is going to affect me, you know. It could be a real positive thing, but unless I go, I'm certainly not going to find out, right? But, uh, yeah. You think they'll let me e-vape there? <laughs> uh, ah, well, if I can't, fuck, I can handle it. Those are probably, what, musicals are, what, two, three hours? Are they that long? They have different acts, different parts? I don't know. But, yeah, Mary Poppins, so. So, even that, like, even, okay, that's a good example, too, so. Now I need to, so we're like Wednesday, this is going to happen, we're going to, we're going to go out Friday to see this. So chances are, maybe we'll go for dinner, you know, chances are that whole day from a workout and diet standpoint, you know, it could be a total fucking write-off. You know, but uh, on Thursday, well, hopefully well, we're going to touch base soon and work out the finer details, and I'll try and plan accordingly or whatever, but... If something happens and that whole day is shot to shit, and I've been ended up taking two days off from working out, let's say because today I only do one body part, you know, one one workout, and then Friday none, you know, I'm not gonna, uh, I'm not even about an eye at that because working out is not the main priority of my life right now. The way I'm working out is. I'm happy with it. I'm not letting myself down in other, in other ways. You know, uh, um, if I was uh, work, uh, if I was asked, if I was honest with myself and saying, okay, well, this is what I'm working out. I want to reach this goal. That becomes a first priority, right? So you, it depends, you know, on your priorities and how important it is to you. And like you said, you got to be honest with yourself about that. So I can go and uh, me and my friend, we uh, we can go have a fucking fun day, and uh, it's not it's not even going to be back in my mind about. Oh, you know, cheating on my diet, or, or I missed a workout. Um, that day off is not going to affect me negatively at all. You know, if it if if it uh, if I knew that it was gonna, then I would have said no. And that's what you guys need to do. You know, you don't want to feel resentful the next day. You don't want to feel guilty the next day if you miss something, because that's negative. You don't never want this to go negative. You want this to stay positive and move forward, positive and positive and positive and positive. Turn the negatives into positives. It's all mental, guys. It's all fucking mental. You know, you guys really need to understand that. First it's mental. Then it's diet. Then it's actually picking up the weight, you know? So I think that's everything I needed to say. Uh, did I miss anything, guys? Michelle, Stacy, did I miss anything now? Did I cover everything from that first, first live feed? I guess they're off. You guys off? Because I can't remember. So unless you guys help me out, I'm going to end this video there and enjoy my day. Okay, I guess they, they're they off. So uh, till I see you again, take care of yourself, take care of each other. Prom bless you all.